Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Garcia. I'm the Director of Technical Marketing here at Crestron. We're gonna do an AirMedia unboxing video. We have our AirMedia AM3100 WF receiver, our AMTX3100 transmitter. What we're gonna do is in this video, we're gonna unbox them, pair them together, and show you how to get started right out of the box. When we open this box up, what we're gonna find inside is our safety cardboard, our compliance paperwork, and our mounting template. We can then take the unit out of the plastic. And the very next thing to do is to plug it in. We're gonna start with our ethernet cable. We've got power over ethernet, so that's gonna power up the unit and get us our network connection. Plug that in first, make that connection. The next thing is the HDMI. Plug that in and that's gonna give us our video signal up to the screen. Now we have the unit on screen. One of the very first things that happens is that the air media out of the box is going to need a firmware update. It's important and essential that this happens because that takes it to the latest generation of firmware, which makes sure it has all of the updates and security updates that are required. In addition, without the latest firmware, we're gonna be unable to pair the air media TX3 transmitter. So that's gonna take a couple of moments. That'll happen automatically. We'll just need to wait a couple of minutes for that to complete. Now we have our unit updated with the latest firmware, and now we're ready to do the next part of the configuration. You'll see that on screen we have the IP address of the unit, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug that into our computer. You'll see that one of the very first things I can do is I can start presenting. In this case, what we wanna do is we wanna do some configuration so that we can get the unit set up and ready for our, our transmitter. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna use the gear icon. We're gonna get the notification that we need to accept the self-signed certificate, and now we can sign in. One of the very first things we need to do when we sign in is we need to create a username and a password. That makes sure that our device is secure so that no one else can come in and change those settings without our permission. So we're gonna give it our username and now we create our user account. Now that we've created our user account, now we can actually sign in successfully. And now we're into the configuration screen of the unit. Now we can go through and we can make all of the necessary changes to things like the uh, interface that's shown. Uh, we can make sure it's in the right time zone. We can apply a room name. We can make all of the date corrections, all of those things, as well as all of the other customizations. So let's go ahead and do that over here. Let's go into settings. And in settings, we're gonna make sure that we have the correct language. We're gonna give it our room name, and this is gonna be our Air Media Demo Room. And the next thing I also want to do is I want to change the system mode from custom to optimized for video quality. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to say the device needs to be rebooted. In this case, I'm just going to say no for the moment and I'm going to save those changes. The next thing we want to do is we want to pair our transmitter. So we're going to go here, we're going to take our AM TX3100, we're going to open that up. Inside we have our regulatory paperwork. I right, just put that aside. We're going to take the transmitter out. And the first thing we need to do is we're gonna to need to go through here, we're gonna go down to the air media section, and we're gonna to go to transmitter pairing. Now in order to pair the transmitter, what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into our USB port. We need to now put the device in pairing mode. So we're gonna to click to pair the transmitters on the configuration, and we're gonna press and hold the screen share button for five seconds. What's going to happen is that the LEDs are now gonna to start to indicate that it is pairing, and the two devices are gonna communicate. Now that we see on the screen that the devices have paired, it's rebooting, negotiating, there's my presentation. I can go ahead and I can stop presenting by pressing the button once more. You'll notice now that we also have a new tile indicating that the Air Media Connect adapter is paired and available for use. If I disconnect, now I can take that transmitter, I could plug it into any other laptop, and again, it's as simple as pressing the presentation button to go ahead and share. Certainly if I plug it right back in, again, it's going to indicate, power, make the connection, and automatically present my laptop uh, up on screen. It's really that simple. There we go. Stop presentation. And now you have a paired system that will work for wireless presentation using the AirMedia Connect adapter, using Miracast, using the AirMedia uh, application, um, and certainly you can extend that with uh, 
uh, wireless conferencing, and all of the other great features of, of the AirMedia device. Um, for more information, you can look at the online manual, which is available for download or for viewing online.